Ms. Hurd. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. L-2019-2911. Mr. Depp's claim against Ms. Heard. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. The sta question, the statement was about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false? Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Question, the, de the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory impl implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Two, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath that has to change in the Washington Post online edition. Quote, then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false? Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Question, the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Three, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false? Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp? 
Answer, yes. Question, the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of this statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. As against Amber Heard, we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. As against Amber Heard, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Ms. Heard's claim against Mr. Depp. One, as to this statement, appearing in the April 8, 2020, online edition of the Daily Mail. Quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflict inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Two, as to this statement appearing in the April 27, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses thoroughly searched and interviewed and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Ms. Heard proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was seen by someone other than Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven by clear and convincing evidence that the statement by Mr. Waldman was made with actual malice? Answer, yes. Three, as to this statement appearing in the April 27, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, we've reached the beginning of the end of Ms. Hurd's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of $0. All right. Does either side wish to have the jury polled? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Jamie? Members of the jury, if this is your verdict, please answer yes. If this is not your verdict, please answer no. Juror number six. Yes. Juror number 10. Yes. Juror number 15. Yes. Juror number 16. Yes. Juror, juror number 22. Yes. Juror number 27. Yes. Juror number 29. Yes. I do find that the jury's verdict is unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your service in this case. I want to thank you again for your dedication and your hard work during this trial. I know I speak for everybody here uh, when I appreciate, tell you that we appreciate your sacrifices and your time and your public service in this matter, okay? So I'm going to have you go back to the jury deliberation room for one more uh, time, and then we'll release you from there, okay? All right, thank you.
All right. Okay. In accordance with law, I will amend the punitive damages um, award to the statutory cap of $350,000 on Mr. Depp's award, okay? Um, I will set this down for entry of an order, and can we do it on June 24th at 10 a.m. if that's available? All right, yes, Mr. Chu, if you could prepare that order and then circulate it to Ms. Bretterhoff and we can have all the objections noted on it. All right. We'll do that, Your Honor. Thank you very much. All right. And if I get it before that date, I'll take it off the docket. Okay. All right. Again, thank you to all the attorneys uh, for your professionalism and uh, you're welcome to come to my courtroom anytime. Well, give me a few weeks, but then you can come <laughs> any, anytime. Okay. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Thank, thank you. you, Your Honor. All right.